speaking at the official laying of foundation stone for the foundry and machine tooling center at the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission here in Accra. President Okufado says government will soon lay before parliament a draft legislation on science, technology and innovation to drive the country's technological growth. Nane Okufado says the foundry and machine tooling center will help produce, implement machines and machine parts needed in industries. Finally, this strategy will only be sustainable when we're able to back it by legislation and ensure that there's continuity from one administration to the next. Legislation is being drafted for an STI bill based on the National Science, Technology and Innovation Policy Framework. When we pursue this course diligently, I am confident that we will be able to bring into being new enterprises through the exploitation of science and technology opportunities. Also, New products and processes will be born out of these enterprises and jobs will be created. That is when we will appreciate the contribution of science and technology to our nation's GDP. Government is ready to partner with all stakeholders, especially the private sector, to drive investment, attract technology, and ensure effective management of this foundry and machine tooling center enterprise and others that will be set up under our industrialization strategy. Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, Professor Kwabna Frimpon Boati on the spot says the opening of the tooling center will reduce the country's importation of machine parts. This is a disruptive undertaking that will change this country forever. This project, Mr. President, has the potential to be amongst your greatest legacies for Ghana. The Machine 2 Center will also allow us to machine accurate machine parts, consistent, complex machine parts for our industries. A few of these industries are in agriculture, automotive, construction, transportation, and metal work. 